Okay, this how-to video is going to go through um, a new feature of VIA structures that became available at 17.2. So under the root menu there's something called the VIA structures we can now um, create and then we can create a standard based VIA structure which is effectively a same net VIA structure like this type of single track out VIA on the same net. Um, we can also do a root VIA structure create, we can create something called a high speed VIA structure. So I've got a couple of examples of a high-speed fire structure. Here's one example where we've literally just um, almost like tried to, to break out of a, of a BGA pattern. So we've rooted out four different nets. You can have as many different nets as you like in the, in the breakout that you need in the via structure. Um, the second example here is I've got a differential pair. So I'm coming out on the differential pair. I've got um, a set of vias. I've got some root keep out areas that I want to include in the via structure. And I've also got some return path wires that I want to include and reuse going forward um, in this design or in other designs because it writes out an XML file. So under the root via structure command, we can do things like add. So we can, once we've created the via structures, we can add them to a design. We can replace them. So if you wanted to replace a via structure with a different via structure, you can do that. There is a replace via with via structure. So if you've got a, a standard through hole design, for example, and you need to change it to a an HDMI 3 level design where you've got stacked micro wires. you could actually physically replace a single via with a stacked via structure. There's a refresh, a redefine and a disband to change it back from a via structure into just box standards, uh, tracks and or C lines and wires. So let's start off with a couple of the commands. So if we go root, via structure, create, we'll do a standard. Um, it basically asks for the name, so we'll just use VS1. I'm literally just going to window select what I want to do. Pick the side of the board that I want to use, click OK, and it writes out the XML file. So that's that's creating a standard via structure for me to use that. I could use root via structure add. There's my via structure, and I can then go and apply that on the pins that I want to use it on. You can also use standard commands like root create fanout. Um, there's the via structure feature here, so I can then go and pick the via structure that I want to do and apply it to a pin or a symbol level. From a high speed point of view, so root via structure create high speed. Firstly, I must need a high speed license, so I do need a high speed license for this um, to enable me to do this. I'm going to specify the name. We'll leave it as VS2. I literally just window select the four um, connections that I want to use. I then pick the origin point. So in this example, I'm going to do um, just do right click snap pick to pin. Um, it says, do you want to define the return path? So I haven't got return path files on this one, so I'm just going to say no. The via structure then gets written out, and I can then reuse that. If we create another one, so we'll do via structure three. In this example, we use the differential pairs, so we'll literally we'll window select the, the the return path files, the root keep out areas, and the um, the tracks as well. And I'm going to pick the origin point. So right click, snap pick to pin. I want to define the return path via, so I say yes, and then I click the four return path bias to confirm what they are. Right click, complete the return path, and then we write out the XML file. So once my via structures are there, I can then apply those. So we could do uh, root via structure, we can add. So I can pick VS2, and then obviously go in and do a right click, snap pick to pin to apply these individual via structures. Um, actually get the right location this time so let's do a snap pick to pin and a right click snap pick to pin so I'm then applying those via structures um, but if I wanted to use the high speed ones so I could do a root via structure add uh, add or pick the high speed version now this time when I what I need to do is obviously define the return path first because this one has a, has a return path so I can then go and browse the nets, or just use the DC nets feature and pick ground for the return path. And then again, I can just click on the pins and get those wires added. And these wires get added to ground. These wires are added to the differential pair. 